Beauty is often deceptive, hiding other, deeper, or more impor important traits, like a makeup palette that offers a wide range of colors, textures, and tools to reveal only that which one wants us to see, or only what we choose to see. For after all, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Today, I want to introduce you to five incredible women, visions of classic and sexy beauty that are impossible to overlook. But overlook it we must, to unveil the true beauty of benevolence and brains that lie concealed beneath. So let's get out our palettes and brush on the shimmer and polish these beauties are famous for. Then, contour and blend their incredible benevolence. And finally, add definition and distinction with the sharpness of their beautiful brains. Mayim Bialik, Christina Applegate, Danica McKellar, Dolly Parton, and Hedy Lamar. Different ages, even time periods, different cultures and coloring, but each with the shimmer and polish of beauty and style in her own way. The youngest, Mayim Bialik, is most recognizable for her starring roles as the title character in Blossom and as Amy Farrah Fowler in The Big Bang Theory. The Jewish-American actress gained early acclaim as a child actress, was nominated for four Primetime Emmy Awards, and twice won the Critics' Choice Television Award for Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Like Mayim, Christina Applegate gained success in her teens as the dim and hilarious Kelly Bundy on Married with Children and went on to establish a successful career in film and in television as an adult. She won a Primetime Emmy and has seven nominations, as well as nominations for four Golden Globes and a Tony. This beauty is Danica McKellar, most recognizable as a Hallmark Channel leading lady. But perhaps some will recognize her from her early acting days when she starred as Winnie Cooper on The Wonder Years. Danica also does anime voiceover work. Now, perhaps the most iconic of all, the incomparable Dolly Parton. The country music mega award winning star is most, <clears throat> most famous for her music career and also gained a favorable reputation on stage and for screen acting. But it's really the shimmer of her physical attributes and distinctive voice that grabs the attention. The big white blonde hair and the big, well, they can't be denied, even after a breast reduction surgery. The big stunning smile that she's rarely without. And finally, here's a classic, one of the true beauties from Hollywood's golden age, Hedy Lamarr. Born in Austria in 1914, she moved to the U.S. in 1937 to begin her acting career and was considered one of Tinseltown's leading ladies throughout the 1930s and 40s. Hetty was one of those special, beautiful actresses first billed as bombshells. Beauty is nice, not monumentally important though. In the grand scheme of things, in my opinion, just like I said, nice. But let's get our makeup palettes back out again and find something deeper as we contour and blend the very attractive benevolence of Christina Applegate and Dolly Parton. In 2003, Applegate was the spokesperson for the Lee National Denim Day, which raises millions of dollars for the breast cancer education and research. Then, in 2008, at age 37, Applegate was diagnosed with breast cancer herself. She had to undergo a double mastectomy, even though the cancer was only found in one breast. The radical procedure was recommended as the actress had an inherited trait called BRCA1 mutation, which can trigger both breast and ovarian cancer. On August 3, 2008, People Magazine reported Applegate's diagnosis and published an interview with her four months later, in which the actress said, I was just shaking so badly at first, and then I had to get into take care of business mode. And that's how I dealt with it. Since then, Christina Applegate has appeared in numerous charity events to raise funds and awareness for breast cancer. She became an ambassador for Lee's events and founded the Right Action for Women, 
a charitable foundation dedicated to breast cancer screening for women and focused on the type of MRI that saved her life. According to LookAtTheStars.com, in February of 2015, she was awarded the St. Vintage Love Cures Award from United for Humanity for her dedication and work. Said since the mid-1980s, Dolly Parton has supported many charitable events, primarily through her Dollywood Foundation. Her children's literacy program, Imagination Library, mails a book a month to each enrolled child from birth through their entry into kindergarten. According to imaginationlibrary.com, the nonprofit currently provides books to almost 850,000 children in 16,000 communities across the world. In addition, the Dollywood Foundation is noted for bringing jobs and tax revenues to the previously Great Smoky Mountains, depressed region of eastern Tennessee, where Parton was raised. From benevolence to brains, our palettes now turn to those beautiful marks of definition and distinction with Danica McKellar, Mayim Bialik, and Hedy Lamar. Even when she was a little girl on The Wonder Years, Danica McKellar loved math. She took a break from acting, graduated summa cum laude with a degree in mathematics from UCLA, and has published a series of math books, Math Doesn't Suck, Kiss My Math, Hot X Algebra Exposed, Girls Get Curves, Geometry Takes Shape, and more, all designed to encourage middle and high school girls to have confidence and succeed in mathematics. Three of McKellar's books have been listed on the New York Times children's bestseller list, and Amazon readers give her latest book, The Times Machine, Learning Multiplication and Division, like yesterday, 4.56 out of 5 stars, calling it a revolutionary and fun way to memorize multiplication facts. Best-selling author, author Danica McKellar has helped over a million kids finally get math and have a great time doing it. Mayim Bialik is one of those rare people who could say, I'm not only a world-famous neuroscientist, I play one on TV. Mayim, in a way, was really playing herself when she was cast as anal retentive Sheldon's love interest, Amy Farrah Fowler, on The Big Bang Theory. In addition to getting her Bachelor's of Science degree in Neuroscience from UCLA, she got minors in Hebrew Language and Jewish Studies, then went on to earn her PhD in Neuroscience. According to her June 30, 2020 A&E biography, her dissertation was an investigation of hypothalamic activity in patients with prader willi syndrome. Perhaps the greatest surprise of all, and one that has contributed to various systems that enhance our daily lives, is the glamorous beauty icon of Hollywood's golden age, Hedy Lamarr. Unbeknownst to her legion of fans, she had such a passion for engineering and invention that she set up a room in her home to indulge herself. She and composer George Antheil experimented with automated control of musical instruments and together hit on the idea of frequency hopping. They believed that they could pro broadcast interference of torpedo control signals, causing them to go off course. According to The Bombshell, The Hedy Lamarr Story, while no one was interested in applying their groundbreaking technology at the time, 20 years later, it was used on military ships during the 1962 blockade of Cuba. But perhaps more importantly to those of us here today, Lamar's frequency hopping invention served as the foundation for spread spectrum communication technology. In other words, GPS, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Unfortunately, Hedy Lamar's efforts were not recognized until 1997 by the Electronic Frontier Foundation. She passed away in 2000 at the age of 85. And in 2014, she was posthumously inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for her frequency hopping system. Christina Applegate, Dolly Parton, Danica McKellar, Mayim Bialik,
and Hedy Lamarr. Shimmering beauty, the contours of benevolence, and the distinction of brains. These five amazing women have it all. Their talent is quite well known, but their positive influence on young women who are looking toward their own futures and deciding their own paths cannot be overstated. Each and every one of them is so much more than what we see on the surface. And knowing what I know now, each of them is even more beautiful. But more importantly, as I clean off my palette and gently wash away the outer mask that can conceal so much, I'm far more impressed with their bountiful blend of benevolence and big, truly beautiful brains.